everybody. So I did a gaming uh, episode not too long ago, actually, like two days ago, and uploaded it, where it showed you how to create a script, modify it a bit, to auto mine in Minecraft and possibly other games. So in this gaming one, I was going to do more of like how to do like an auto buffer with a set timer. That way you can have buffs that you want to constantly be going off that you don't have to worry about. Now, I've seen this very popular in stuff like World of Warcraft, and uh, I know you can get add-ons that do this kind of stuff, but with using AHK, you can make a script that's going to work in all games and not have to download an add-on for every single one of your games. This will just work across the board. So the script is pretty long. Um, I usually put them in the description below. But it's going to be a little bit too long uh, for the description. It's uh, quite a few lines long, you'll see that. Uh, so I'm just going to put a link down there to a Google document, and you can uh, view the code there, copy it, manipulate it how you want. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this code. So it's almost 2,000 lines long. Uh, the good news is it's pretty self-explanatory, since most of it's just kind of duplication code, uh, which is different variables. So I'm just going to use a control F1 to activate the settings of the script or start it. Uh, I got my save path, so it just defaults to my documents folder. This will work on anybody's computer. Uh, hopefully you have a documents folder. Don't know why you wouldn't. Mac might be a little different. Let me know. So the first time you run it, if the INI file does not exist yet, it's going to go ahead and create it right here in this else. And that's just basically making a bunch of blank variables. It's going ahead and just creating a blank INI file. If it does exist, it's going to go ahead and it's going to go to the start, which is just right there. So the first thing it's going to do, it's going to read that INI file. That way, if you have any saved settings, it's going to go ahead and read them all. I've talked to videos about, you know, INI reads and INI writes, so I'm not really going to go over much of that. We're going to skip a little bit down. Uh, this is where it gets a little long. Um, I know you can do this in an array, but I know a lot of people don't really know arrays or aren't very comfortable, so I kind of did it long-handed, I guess you could call it. <laughs> it definitely takes up a, quite a lot of code. Um, eventually, I will make a second version with an array, and you guys can pick which one you want. But what this is doing is just checking that variable I got from up here in the INI, right? Uh, to choose the drop-down menu, just in case you already have an option selected, it'll uh, be able to pull that up for you. When you get to the GUI, which as you see, this is definitely the long way of doing this. Bear with me here. I'm just going to scroll over here. Yeah, this is like 75% of the code, so... If you know how to do arrays, go ahead and do it that way. If you want to clean up my code, that's definitely good. But I try to do it the simplest way, so it's easily adjustable for anybody. Yeah, that's like over a thousand lines of code there. There we go. <clears throat> so after it's done pulling all the information it needs, it's going to go ahead and create a GUI, which looks like this. Let me go ahead and pull that up with Control f one So that, that was it just creating the data for the first time. Um, <clears throat> so here's what it looks like. So you got this first column here. It's buff name, whatever you want to call your uh, buff. Uh, game key, which key are you going to use? You know, I want it to press the one button, and then how many milliseconds do you want it to go off? You know, I want this to go off every 5,000 milliseconds, which equals 5 seconds. So to get milliseconds, it's just how many seconds you want times 1,000. Not get you one. Obviously, I don't have to use all nine. There's quite a bit. Um, but that's what all this information is. Once again, I've done a GUI video, so I'm not really going to explain all this kind of stuff. Uh, if you want to manipulate this anyway or expand on it, definitely check out that video on my channel, uh, Tab Nation. You'll get a lot more explanation of what all this stuff means. I do have a save button that's inside the GUI there, right down here, and a close. The save is just going to go and write to that INI file for you. Save your settings. That way when you restart your computer, you're good to go again. Not having to retype all of that stuff. 
Close just closes out that GUI. That's all it is. I mean, you can push the close button, or you can always push this X one up here. It doesn't really matter. I just gave you both options. So on there, if you ever forget this, there's instructions down here at the bottom that tell you uh, what the different uh, commands are to activate stuff, the hotkeys. So Control F2, that's going to start your timers. If they're blank or off, nothing's going to happen here. Um, and then Control F3 is going to turn all the timers off. That way, if you need to take a break from the game or doing something that you don't need all the buffs running all the time, you can just close and turn that off real quick. So the last part is every time you know one of these timers goes off, it's going to come down here, send hotkey, which is going to be what's in this field here. That's just saying, okay, every you know the timer goes off after 5,000 milliseconds, send one. And that is pretty much the code. So I know it's almost 2,000 lines of code, but it's pretty simple. Like I said, it's just a lot of duplications with the variable just being you know changed to the nine different slots there. Uh, I'll link the videos below for the GUI and the I&I &I stuff in case you do want to learn more about that and want to expand on my code. Uh, I definitely plan to keep expanding on this. Um, at, as of right now, with the options you got here for the different keys it can send, you got 1 through 0, and then A through Z, and then all the F keys. Uh, I definitely plan to add a lot more, you know, mouse clicks, I don't know, delete, insert, home buttons, up arrows, pretty much anything that's on your keyboard. Um, but I feel I feel like these were the main ones so that I just created those first so you guys can see this in action. So I'm going to go ahead and create a simple one here. So bear with me one minute. I'm going to do, and we'll call this one Shadow Dude. Like I said, you can name this whatever you want. Name it what it's called in the game up to you uh, one we'll have this go off every 5,000 milliseconds number two we'll do big guy that one's going to be two and then we'll do uh, Q here and that's going to be my health potions and we'll have that go off every uh, let's say 10 seconds Yep, and this one we'll just do every six seconds. So, let's say those are the cooldown times. I don't know actually what they are. I think they're way less than that. But the only game I got right now that can really do that is called Trove. Obviously, this can be you know adjusted up here for you know World of Warcraft, League of Legends, that kind of stuff. But I don't currently have those installed. I'm gonna go ahead. I want to save these settings so I have them for next time. It's gonna give me a little pop up saying data saved takes me right back to the GUI and as you see it's re-uploaded all that information just fine so I don't really need this anymore I'm gonna go ahead and close it let's go ahead and take a look at the game this is Trove if you haven't played it it's a pretty interesting game I kind of go in and out of it it's kind of like a very simple World of Warcraft meets Minecraft kind of thing now this is your world you can build in it but then you can also go into like zones to battle monsters complete quests there's you know chat stores it's a really cool game but as you see down there on my um bar you know i got one i got two and then i got a q right there which is health potions i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do control f2 which is gonna start everything so you'll see uh these kind of go off and i'm just gonna move around while it does this so there goes that guy. There goes that guy, and then I should be able to use my health potion here soon. Oh, I guess those are my uh, health potions, whatever those little guys are that are summoning. So yeah, there you go. That is how that works. If you guys have any ideas on how I can modify this, definitely let me know. Like I said, I'm going to try to add all the other different keys that are on your keyboard so you have way more flexibility in the games you play. Um, all right, before I waste everything, I'm going to go ahead and push uh, F, uh, Control F3 to stop that.
And as you see, nothing is being spawned anymore. And if I want to continue, I just control F2 again and it starts going. Yeah, if you guys are good with code, definitely take a look at uh, the code. Give me advice. Uh, I'm, I'm going to definitely clean it up, but also add a lot more. Or any other type of things you guys can think of. If there's a specific game this does not work in, uh, just so you know, a lot of online games, they do have anti-cheat stuff. And some of them, I can't really list specific ones. I can't think of any off the top of my head. But there are ones out there where the anti-cheat can actually see that you're running an auto-hotkey script. Uh, this doesn't always get around it, but a few things you can try if it doesn't work is go into window mode, kind of like I have right now, not full screen. For some odd reason, that actually seems to fix the problem sometimes. The other thing is because they can see auto hotkey script running, go ahead and compile your script until an executable. Uh, the compiler comes with auto hotkeys when you install it. And uh, try it that way. Also run it as an administrator. Once again, sometimes those, that, those little tricks work. Sometimes they don't. Uh, if you do run into a game where this just doesn't work, please let me know because I'd be curious. I kind of want to make a list of all the kind of things and what problems you guys run into. Alright guys, thank you so much. Please subscribe. I'm doing a whole variety of videos all the time. Hit that like button, the little bell notification. Just because I'm releasing, you know, two or three videos a week in different categories. Alright guys, thank you so much. See you later.